Good morning. I am calling from talking from the APJ News. So we are talking about the event management as an industry. Uh, our guest is there uh, from uh, Workaholic. He's a founder director of Workaholic Event Solutions Private Limited, and also he's the vice president north of EMA, which is a, EMA is an association of event industry. So thank you for coming, sir. Thank you, Piyush. Uh, I just want to ask you one small question about the. Uh, how do you say as an EMA vice president, uh, how, what, what is the kind of EMA as a role in the event industry for organizations, event organizations, for employers and for the students? See, uh, before I tell you about EMA, I would like to talk about where we as a country stand. So India today is world's sixth largest economy and very soon, you know, we'll be the fifth largest economy of the, in the world. Now, as the GDP is growing, you know, uh, people are getting more money as disposable incomes. So, people are traveling, people are going to clubs, they are eating out and of course, they are spending a lot on events and entertainment. So, uh, this presents a huge opportunity for the entertainment sector, wherein, you know, people can go out in evenings, entertain live events or, you know, spend money big time on their weddings and social functions and this is now the fastest growing industry in the media sector. So the spends from the corporates are increasing. Thanks to Mr. Modi, government is uh, one of the biggest spenders in this segment. And people with disposable incomes like Ammanis of the world, you know, they are uh, setting the benchmarks in terms of the, you know, weddings that are happening in the best possible way. So uh, this uh, industry besides growing in numbers in terms of top line you know is also desperately need you know a lot of uh, manpower to uh, meet its ever increasing demand and expectations on the corporates and it all uh, happened you know in the uh, globalization area when telecom companies came in so all these multinationals who came to india with them you know they brought international best practices their learnings and then you know things changed forever so, if I give you example of Mercedes-Benz, so Mercedes-Benz used to give say one advertisement in newspaper like Hindustan Times, full page ad costing maybe 60 lakh of rupees, you know, and that advertisement is read by a person who is driving a two-wheeler, a bike, a Maruti car, a Hyundai Centro and somebody who's just bought a Mercedes. So, there was a lot of spillover, you know, and out of maybe uh, one crore people in Delhi, only 5,000 were their audience and rest was all, you know, waste of the money that they were spending. So they decided that instead of, you know, spending on newspaper, why not call these 5,000 people? Why not make them feel what the brand Mercedes-Benz stands for? Why not give them what the product is all about? And then, you know, result it into sales. So instead of spending money on above the line, you know, they, for example, did an event in a hotel, you know, where people could come, sit in the car, touch and feel the car, experience what it has to offer. And then this resulted in immediate, you know, uh, sales conversions. Conversion. So uh, imagine that, you know, uh, the kind of power this ex media, experiential marketing offers. It's a, it's a two-way medium where, you know, you can tell your message to the consumer and understand what they are looking at. A consumer can touch and feel your brand. So the chances of sales happening through this model is very, very high. And when corporates are realizing this, they are allocating more and more amount from their marketing spends to experiential marketing vis-a-vis -vis the conventional models of mass media. So industry is growing, segment is growing, and it is very important to also regulate the whole ecosystem, you know, because of this is one of the new entrants in the economic uh, scenario. Okay. There are not many policies from the government end. There are not many checks or framework in the ecosystem. So EMA as a body, you know, is working towards uh, getting event management, its due share is a form of industry. Okay. So we liaison with the government and we uh, set into policy making which will help the industry grow. One of the important milestones that we achieved here in Delhi was the single window clearance. So EMA in engaged Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and Mr. Shodhia and Delhi government when AAP came into power and single window clearance was passed. So there are many 
such uh, initiatives which are already in plan with the government which will help event management as an industry to grow in a faster yet in a safe way similarly ema you know as a industry body we engage with organization institutes like yours mm. the idea is to go and engage future event managers tell them what the industry has to offer and also give them a glimpse of what is expected out of them when they finally become a part of the event company so uh, there is a tremendous role to be played at the government front in the education front then we also have to uh, regulate our ecosystem you know whether they are meeting the safety standards required are they right. updated with the latest technologies or not so uh, we have to uh, you know keep on updating them with the best of the technologies available globally so right. there are workshops that happen there are trainings that happen and then uh, you know comes to the event companies so event companies are also you know when they are a part of our uh, forum you know they uh, attend so they are updated on the best practices but you know followed by global companies how you know they can scale up their operations how they can uh, add the creativity quotient you know in their proposals so basically it's an exercise where uh, it's a win win situation for all stakeholders correct okay. so that is how you know we are playing a role okay how about the students when they are coming to the industry of event industry what kind of skill set they should have before starting a job career see uh, event management for some reasons is always looked upon as a very glamorous career you know people think that you know it will be full of parties and celebrities and things mm -hmm. like that but when they uh, join the industry uh, you know they uh, sometimes realize that it is not everything what they had uh, initially presumed it to be so my advice to them is that <coughs> you know uh, be uh sincere and dedicated to your job uh job timings hours can sometimes be very long so be prepared for it and keep on upgrading yourself you know mm -hmm. have a look and uh, you know what's happening around you know in terms of right. creativity observe you know little things like structures and materials correct when they get time thanks to internet and google observe what are the global trends are Okay. you know how uh, uh, opening ceremony of olympics is taking place in london or right. say qatar or the fifa you know world cup so one needs to be very observant of the things and ideas that can be incorporated in events also one needs to keep on upgrading themselves as to what's happening globally so once you know people come on board with a mindset of uh, learning continuously observing things being dedicated then i am sure you know they can be a worthy team member to any agency who offers them a job in the company okay okay sir thanks for coming to the our studio and we'll be really having more time more uh, time you'll come to our uh, the institute and we'll be play it's our pleasure thank, thank you, you thank you and it's a uh, good day from the apj news